22nd of November 2024. Well, what have I been doing? Well, you've guessed it. I've been to the charity shop and I've ended up getting three pieces of Crown Derby. This is um, Crown Derby. It's the Derby poses and I've got quite a bit of this. Uh, the jug I got from the Salvation Army, that was £1.50. The plates, that was £2 and that was a pound for the small one. But uh, I saw something that I've never seen before. This had been overprinted and it says Bow, English Bone China. And I did not know that that's when the um, Derby Poses plate was a second. So that's something that I learnt yesterday. Uh, I really love these. And uh, from coming from Derbyshire, I'd just got to have them. That's uh, Royal Crown Derby uh, from Derby in Derbyshire. And uh, Derbyshire poses, very, very old design. Um, I think some of it's hundreds of years old. It's got a very strong link with gypsies. Um, they used to collect a lot of um, Crown Derby, particularly the Amari wear, which I've actually got a piece just to show you. I'll just go over here. Um, if you look at the robin that's on the top shelf in the middle, that's Amari wear. And there's a little piece of Amari ware in that little cabinet there. It's got a lot of gold on it. Uh, they did used to collect a lot of that. Um, you know, proper Romany gypsies. So I just thought I'd show you those. It's a bit of history. Uh, well, what else did I get? So I got the pottery. I got the top for... My granddaughter, uh, that's beautiful that is, and it was from the lady who was running the shop, it was from her neighbour, and that cost me 50 pence. Isn't that marvellous? So I think uh, my husband got a few items of clothing also from there. Um, but I just thought I'd show you my pottery, and that that I'd got for Ivy, um, and then we went to another charity shop and I got two more packs of thread, uh, some some of it's Dreamer and Silco, um, Gutterman and I thought, you know, for a pound a bag, uh, you don't always see these. Uh, this is what I keep telling myself. The thing is, I was watching somebody on YouTube and she was saying she wonders just how much longer we'll be able to get some of the old cotton reels, etc. Uh, which are these, particularly if they're wooden. Um, and I know exactly what she means. And it's so expensive, the thread is anyway. So that's why I ended up with these two bags because I do use a lot of thread. Also, what uh, was that... Um, that particular charity shop because the first one I was showing you with the pots most of that was from the uh, Methodist Church I got this piece of material now isn't that lovely I don't think there's a lot I could put onto that you know it, it looks very finished to me it looks like a, almost like cruel work doesn't it um, something that you'd get from Tudor times that's what this reminds me of but it's by a company called Alderney and uh, the colour is called Dusk it's not suitable for upholstery but uh, I thought that looked really old that did even though it isn't I just loved the style I think that was 50 pence I also got this piece of material that's uh, wool and I thought you know 
I don't need a knee blanket, but it's that type of thing that you could make a knee blanket if you wanted to. I'll find a use for that because I absolutely love it. What else did I get? Uh, I got two cards with buttons on. Um, this is from a company called Thomas Firth from Leicester. And uh, I think this company is still running. It looks like it's been cut at the edge, but uh, I thought that's a bit of social history. I like things like that, and I love the buttons anyway, so I wasn't going to leave that because it was an unusual item. It drew me, and so did this. Now, this is Polcom uh, Button Factory, and if you turn it over, I think it shows you the factory. This was 50p, um, but I think that's a Turkish company, and that's uh, quite a few years old. I know a lot of things come from Turkey nowadays, but it just shows that uh, these were coming from there quite a few years ago. I also got this magazine. I think this was 20 pence. And uh, it's from December the 17th, 1996. So that's quite a few years old, isn't it? What is it? Getting on for 30? Um, so I thought, oh, that that's good for 20 pence, isn't it? Considering that it's been somewhere and been kept for all these years. Um, I thought, you know, that'll be a nice thing to uh, have a look at. I'll show my husband this, um, Cavalier car. But, uh, you can see some of the adverts. I think this is an Australian um magazine so obviously a lot of the things that it's got in um you know are not sort of uh, things that we have in this country but there is a lot that uh, that's got a crossover you know where you see a lot of things that um remind me of things that we used to have you know like pantene i mean I that that's still going isn't it it's just full of things that uh, people wanted you to buy and uh, also ideas as well Winnie the Pooh of course most people know Winnie the Pooh but I just thought I'd just briefly go through it for anybody that uh, finds things like this interesting and with it being coming up to Christmas time I thought that was a nice thing to do as well so let's look at this Walmart and Staples well of course we've had Staples but look at this this is what I wanted to show you. Autumn Glory Barbie. You know, it's it's fantastic, isn't it? That uh, this has been in somebody's um, collection for all these years. There's your Pillsbury Doughboy, look. <laughs> Which we can relate to a lot of these, can't we? So... I just thought I'd uh, quickly show you. All the stickers are still in here. Uh, the free stickers that it's got advertised on the front. So uh, that was that. I think that's about it. Apart from another bag of cloths. Another bag of material. This looks like the material you uh, put on arm covers, arm caps. Um, on your settee or armchair so that that didn't wear out people used to put caps of cloth on the top of the uh, arms just to stop them getting threadbare and that's what this material reminds me of so there was that in it this was 50p for the bag some black lace it's that's all man-made it's 
not particularly my cup of tea, but uh, it'll come in for something. Some pretty satin looking material, I do like that. And then this was quite odd. Um, just look at that, it's quite a sculptured piece, isn't it? It almost reminded me of a bodice. And then on the underside, you can see. I think this is probably belongs to somebody that made things, uh, you know, and this is their bag of scraps. Yeah, and instead of throwing it away, it's ended up at the Salvation Army. And uh, I've ended up with it. That looks like needle cord. I used to love needle cord. This looks like a piece of um, camouflage material. There's all sorts in here. Look at that. That looks like a paisley. Which is nice. It looks very Indian, doesn't it, that? This reminds me of William Morris, um, the willow pattern. And then there's uh, this pretty pattern. That reminds me a little bit of Liberty or even Laura Ashley. This is the one that I really liked. I love that. I think that's really pretty. I love the colours. It's very nice. And then a nice green as well. I like that green. A um, little bit of rusty colour. A very vibrant um, silk material. And then a beautiful piece of grey linen. So I wasn't going to leave that for 50p. So that's what I've been doing. And that's what I've been buying. I do love it. I do love buying second hand. Um, because it's not run of the mill. And also it's keeping things going. They're not going to landfill. And the prices are usually better. So what's not to love? There we go. I just thought I'd share these with you. Bye.